morning, everybody. Welcome to Brooklyn Live. It's Brooklyn. And we're live. Okay. Are you alive? What is, that says obey. It does. It does like a little bit of a, what's that? And a chain. It's obey <laughs> with a chain. It's supposed to be a smiling face. And it's a oh, brand. is that what it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be. I don't know. <laughs> obey with a chain. Here we are with Eloise and her lovely curly hair. Look at this. If you've seen her before, you would have seen that her hair was flat. It was all alive. <laughs> and you see what happened was? She turned into, see this is true, give me your arm. She's got like a big explosion of curls, a big explosion of flowers on the top of her head. She just exploded. Yeah? But this is what she wants to do. Right there. You got that? So we're gonna go for something pretty, uh, pretty sharp. When was it cut last? Um, like two weeks. Three weeks? Nice. Now the big challenge that we have, or not challenge, but the area of, uh, the area of concern is in here. Come on in, Rebecca. Because she's kind of, it was cut by a nurse, her sister. This is the classic pudding bowl haircut. So what she's done is she's undercut here. And then that's a really weird place because the head's rounding away. And then she's dropped the top over. So the back will really look quite not so pretty. So what I want to do is I want to try and make it look better through the back while still giving her exactly, exactly what she's looking for through the front. So what I'm going to do to begin is that I've got clippers and I've got my scissors. So we're gonna to have to get a good distinction in the hair. But what I'm gonna do, do we have some hydro mist, Olivia? I do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and simplify the back. Because I think that I'll make the back look better. It'll look, uh, it, the, it looks cool already, but the back just does not look cool. It looks a little lumpy. So let's see, and Eloise decided to say, she said, you know best. So I said, yes. I said, you had it cut by a nurse. You had it cut by a nurse last time. Now you got the doctor. Yeah, now you got the doctor. Her hair's extremely curly. So I'm sectioning just behind, kind of like right across the top of the, not the top, because the top's here, but right across the top of the crown. And I'm going to actually connect. So I'm gonna take a section right in here. And she won't see this, but uh, it's gonna look way better. So a central panel, that would be better if this was a little longer, but it ain't. So if it's not longer, I can't do anything with it, apart from just to cut it. Head up. <clears throat> Ron Con says you should take the day off and come down to Boca Biale. Hey, Ron Con, I'm coming down. Um, I'll be going to be there, mate. I'm going to be in, uh, I think, at Coral Gables in a week. I'm also going to be down at Fuel, which is a show. Put your hand there. Which is a hair event that my good friend Tracy's doing. So uh, that's in Palm Beach. So I'll be flying in for that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an in salon for a new salon that's carrying my product. So if you're around, maybe we can uh, connect. So that's the first section right there. Let's take the second section. And we wanna kinda cut this very, very precise. We're going to take no prisoners here. So I'm using my BMAC shears. These are our five inch BMAC shears. And I'm cutting it as close to the underneath to get rid of the undercut through the back. Lorna says she can't wait for this one. Me neither. Now what happens is I'm continuing to connect it, but at a certain point we're going to disconnect. And there's the sharp piece under there. So. Just working that through. Nice and clean. 
when you're working on hair that's super curly, you've really got to, and she doesn't wear it curly, so you've really got to be extra, extra precise. For the simple reason that the curl will just take over. So as I transition into the side, I'm going to have to start pulling the hair back so I can keep the bowl effect, which I kind of really like. I think it's pretty awesome what she, what she wants to do. So it's getting slightly longer to the corner. And I'm actually very happy right in here with this transition. I'm over directing the hair back, fine teeth of the comb, super tight tension. She's super young, she's cute. She's like every, you know, so you gotta like make sure you comb it really clean and tight and connect. Because really what's gonna have to happen now is we're gonna have to start to create a disconnect from this point here so that she can keep the length right in here. So she's got the length here, which we don't need, but the length here we need. So let me do one, two more sections before I go to the opposite side. Good morning from Jessica and Haley. Good morning, Jessica and Haley. And Hinsu here, Californians checking in. Oh, Hinsu. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in California on the, uh, I think it's March 18th. And I'm gonna be doing a, uh, we're planning to do a two day razor class in California. All the details of my classes are on uh, erosiopro.com. Slight disconnection right here. So you can see we've connected here. Got to straighten that out. We've connected here, taken away. I'll show you this side. So you see this side's got the dollop. So we've taken the dollop out, but we've managed to keep the length through the side. So you come on this side and I'll do the same. Change the body position now. So I'm working, now I'm working on this side I was cutting up, on this side I'm cutting down. So you wanna get your fingers in nice and flat into the back of the head, just to get real clarity. Keep your sections nice and skinny. Right the way through, there you go. And then use the tips of your fingers as you're getting tighter. Use the tips. Virginia Mary says good evening from India. <laughs> good evening from <laughs> India. Very nice to see you. Thanks for tuning in. We're here every Thursday evening in India. Yeah. It must be evening. Yeah. <laughs> Caroline says good morning from Seattle. Seattle. Hey, Caroline from Seattle. Thanks for tuning in. This is probably seven o'clock in Seattle. Oh, that looks great. See that? So that's great, because we've got that transition, so we've flattened that out, which is so much cuter. Because if I saw her from behind, walking down the street, even though it's a cool look, I would think it would be just, I wouldn't be as um, attracted to the shape, because it's got a, this has a little bit more sophistication to it. So when you use good over direction, you can go from no line to a line. And that's exactly what we're working on right here. Now notice how I comb right at the root and I'm using my red scissor comb to do this. And as we're transitioning now from the back, we're moving into the side, we're gonna have to create a little disconnection. So this was the perfect point right there. The first section was the perfect point. Let's comb it back. How long has your sister been doing your hair for you? A mm, couple of months. Couple of months. And she's not a hairdresser. <laughs> she's a she's a nurse. Nice. So notice how I over direct this hair back. Keeping that length. We're gonna try and take away the roundness of the shape. And get it to connect. So there's a little disconnection here and a little disconnection here. Let me stay on this side. Let's work to keep. See the length that she's got here? We're going to work to keep that length. <clears throat> I 
I'm going to simplify by taking that out. That section right there is on the top of the head, and this is the side of the head, and this area that I've taken out is the transition. Now we'll probably do some razor cutting later too. I'll reserve the right to potentially use my razor. So I'm over directing that hair back to kind of get to the length. Section one, section two, combing this back so that we can get to keep the disconnected length, which is right here. It's quite complicated. Yeah, it's quite complex. We're gonna have to slim it down to make it look super stylish. Because otherwise she says she's gonna get me. I don't want to. Come that all the way back. And again, nice clean sections. Look for your guideline right there. And as we come through, we can start to see that we're transitioning from nothing where it's connected here to where it's disconnected here. And because the hair's curly, it's obviously harder because we gotta imagine it's straight because she wants to have straight hair. Which would, if she was my client, I would recommend that she has a smoothing treatment to flatten and smooth the hair out. Because uh, when she goes back to Puerto Rico, she'll never keep it straight in that hot, humid temperature. So a, a smoothing treatment could certainly help to get her hair flatter and easier for her to manage. So again, these are conversations that one would have with the client to help them get their desired look. And if you don't tell them, they don't know. So that's why it's important for you to tell them. Rose says New Jersey in the house. Hello, Rose from New Jersey in the, his house. Taylor says good morning from PA. Nice, Taylor. So look at the clean sectioning. Once I break this out later, it'll be flatter. But you can see that she's still got every single piece of the same line, but right now we're blended through the back. I don't know if this top's even gonna get there. Yeah, top's not even gonna get there. So let's uh, spin around and do this side. If you wanna stay there, I'll, I'll work around you. Haley wants to know what smoothing treatments do you like? Well, I know we have, uh, I believe we have Kerasilk in our salon. That's the one that we're using right now. Uh, we also have a, a heavier straightener um, by Zodos there too, but we're looking at new stuff all the time. But that's what we've been using. And that was with our affiliation with our former brand. So I'm sure we'll be looking to see what new options are out there. So I'm gonna do exactly the same on this side. Fine teeth of the comb. We're starting to disconnect. I'll do this one section right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that section. This I call this simplifying so I don't have uh, all of the weight. I'm excited to use the clippers today. I've not used clippers in ages. I'm gonna give it a shot, we'll go crazy. Fine teeth of the comb. And look at the fingertips combing the hair back. You can see as I comb the hair back, look I'm pointing out. If I'm pointing out, follow your comb. If I'm pointing out, you'll know that I'm working to keep length. Because this has to be dried and then refined in order for me to really get the hair to look spectacular. So we're combing that hair back and just keeping it nice and clean. I'm working to keep her pre-existing length. Lori says good morning from Canada. Good morning, Lori. Armando says good morning from Boston. Good morning, Armando. How are you, buddy? Yeah, we've got lots of travel coming up. This weekend, I will be uh, flying out to Chicago we have an amazing event at the Greenhouse Theatre in Chicago. I have some of Chicago's fine talent on stage with me. 
I'm also bringing a gentleman by the name of Paul Merritt. He's one of our very successful editorial stylists. He works in my school and he does fashion week and shows and shoots. And he's a true pro. So if you want to come and see Paul alongside Alex Yanu from Trio, uh, Edda from Edda Salon. You also, we got Chelsea from J Garden Design. We got Pat Lewis from Edit. And uh, we have Vito Anthony, we have Liz, which is gonna be great. So we got a lot of people. We're doing an event in Chicago. It's complimentary education and inspiration. So come hang out, get inspired, stay warm, get connected to the Orosho brand this weekend in Chicago. The following weekend, I'm gonna be in Florida. We're sending Johanna, our resident punk rocker. Joanna. Joanna, <laughs> our resident punk rocker, hairdresser. And she's gonna be working alongside uh, Tracy Vasquez. And there's a lot of my friends flying in, Stephen Adams, David Gatt, into Palm Beach to do an event called Fuel. Definitely check it out. Will Ram says shout out from Puerto Rico. Oh, there you go. You see, someone's checking in from Puerto Rico. Let's give it a shot. Let's go crazy. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Let's go long. So what we're going to do, it's been a while. How do you spell your name? Yeah, it's been a while. So let's, we found these, thankfully. They sound nice, don't they? Yeah. So I'm going to open it out. And I'm gonna put the number one guard on. And let's see what we do. And I'm just gonna to come to the occipital bone. Let's see how, how that goes, because that takes it nice and tight. I'm gonna work this hair out. You have to go short here, because if you don't go short, you're not gonna get that, dis that, that distinction. Tracy V hair says, hey, Nick. Hey, Tracy V. And Sophia says, good morning from the squad at Richard Salon. There you go. Great job, Richard Salon. Great job. Get me a number two guard. Mazel says, good morning from Phoenix. Phoenix, I'm gonna be going not to Phoenix, actually, I'd like to get to Phoenix. So you notice how I'm just coming out with the shape of the head here. I'm kind of shaping this out with the head. So as the occipital bone comes up, shaping it out with the head. Michelle says good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Todd Dallas says good morning. A lot of people tuning in. Yeah. I like that. Michelle wants you to cut her hair. She says, I need layers. I got a bad haircut. They took off all my length. Oh, Michelle. We can do it. I'm going to flip to a number two guard. Trying to blend out as much as possible. So just working through. Just want to see exactly we got to think about the back and the sides and the transition. I'm going to go into scissor over comb for sure. Let's just take a step back and have a look and start to see. Not much coming out on the number two. So let's go back to our number one. Flip it on. I'm gonna hold this back. This lever is very loose. So I'm gonna keep my finger on that. Todd says, hey Nick, the new boss man is interested in possibly carrying a rojo. Excellent, Todd. I'm excited about that. I know we've been in touch and thanks for the hook up. 
Jeff from bed -Stuy says, morning, Arojo. bed -Stuy. So as I come in, I come out. Working on very dense curly hair right here. And now I think it's time, because I've worked up in my mind, i worked up to this piece here, because we're probably gonna do some scissor over comb in here. It's time to keep your client clean. Let's come through to the side. Do you wanna come over here, Olivia? Let's go right in here. And we've gotta make a nice distinction. So we'll just comb that out. Right. Tracy says we are getting hyped for fuel. Good, Tracy. We are getting hyped for fuel. And if you are going down there, I'm going to be there for the after party. I'm flying in to support my, my punk rocker, Johanna, and to support Tracy. Head over just a little. So we're just slowly working this. And I'm not going to bring this out, I'm going to keep this nice and tight. You want to get a nice definition. You want to get a nice definition of the heaviness. Just keep your client clean. So you can see. So the harder part's going to be in here. Where we're going to be thinking about. You can clean that up with a scissor later too. Now behind the ear, get right in, get your clippers right in, and rotate. I go a little slower as I start to work around. Ian says good morning and love from the UK. Good morning Ian. Hope you're good buddy. At least Ole's doing good for us now. Now this is the area that's going to need the scissor over comb. So I'm just going to work that in just a little bit more. I'm trying to transition the line this way. You can kind of see it right there. Yeah, because in here, this is where the blend is. But this is a great tightener to go with a trimmer. But the scissor is going to do everything good for me. right in here, bring it out, bring it out, let go, it's okay, in the zone, auto zone, so you see I'm trying to get the blend right there, you see the line that we're going to tighten up, that's what she wants, it's going to be tighter like this, I'm trying to get the blend through the back, let's do the other side, She's a, she's a flower. Okay, let's tighten that out. Now we have got a busy, we've got a busy February. In February, not only, we also have an amazing color class, a hair painting class on February the 18th and 19th. So my great colorists are going to be teaching the, uh, the hair painting class. And then also, we, uh, we just put on the calendar a Happy Mondays in Indianapolis. So I'll be in Indianapolis, I believe it's on the 24th of February, and I'll be doing a Happy Mondays. So lots and lots of stuff going on. So if you're in and around, stay connected. Connect with Arojo on Arojo uh, Social. Arojo Social's our app that's a great connector for everybody and for everything Arojo. So definitely check it out. Become a member. You can download the app from the App Store. And then you can stay connected to everything that we're doing. We'd love to see you in Chicago at our Happy Mondays event. So at 5.30 to 7.30, and then we'll go for some cocktails after.
We've got some great salons in Chicago and throughout the whole of Illinois. So hopefully we'll get some great support there for our events. In March, we've got a American Wave certification in Atlanta. And we're also hoping to pencil in a Happy Mondays for Atlanta too. So stay tuned, I'm finishing up the dates for that as we speak. We also have a new class starting in our cosmetology school. We have a new class starting on the 25th of this month. So we never stop moving, we just keep on going. Ted says, I specialize in short women's hair, great feminine cut and beautiful model for a dramatic style. Thanks, this will make it look great. That's pretty cute. Got a hairy face now though. Close your eyes. Just keep, a, keep your client clean. And now I think it's time for a little scissor over comb. So we'll take a set back and we'll have a look and see what we got. I like that, it's a little bit there. It's like that golem. Yes. All right, so now, Olivia, come on in. Let's start trying to blend a little bit better. When you're working on such heavy curly hair, such dense curly hair, that's what I meant to say, you get shadowing very, very easily. So by going in with the trimmer or the clipper, it really helped us. You might want to come around here. Get in there. It really helped us by getting in there with the trimmer. And now I'm gonna sit my uh, BMAC shear right on the spine. This is the spine right here. It's only the thumb that moves. And I'm just gonna take that down. This is, I'm channeling the 80s. I used to have a lot of, uh, a lot of pop stars and we used to do a lot of these fades in the 80s that we danced to soon. Because the look of the day was the new order look which was you know using a clipper and creating like a super tight fade so that was way back in the 80s we used to do a lot of that stuff so we'll get back to it right now like riding a bicycle we won't forget let me keep it nice and clean hand right there olivia thank you it's like shading you see me do a lot of shading with a with a razor now i'm doing a lot of shading with my scissor so when I talk about shading, you kind of have to look and see if you can get it to transition nicely through the back of the head. And you want to kind of keep it so that it's got elegance as well. So your eyes are the key and making sure that you are precision based haircutting. So you're just looking at the hair all the time making sure you can balance it through. Now the hardest part of this cut was taking out the back. We've taken out the back. We've got a better blend there. Let's have a look right here. When I talk about a better blend, that's the blend right in here where we took out the step. There's just a little bit of the remnants of it. I'm gonna rotate to the wide teeth of the comb. Because the wide teeth of the comb is more forgiving than the fine teeth. So when you go from super short, you can get the fine teeth of the comb is gonna be super short and the wide teeth of the comb is a bit softer. So use your visual. You can use your mirror to see the transition. We've got nice light in our studio here, which is beautiful. So we can use the mirror to transition. We also have texturizing shears that can also help soften and break down the hair, break down the curl pattern. You want to get an even fluid shape. So where we clippered or where we use the clippers, if you cut across the hair, so if you go across on an angle, it's way softer and you get to stay away from those scissor lines, which is very important. Those little short scissor lines that you'll get in your haircut. When the, co the comb color's red, 
you can see very clearly the hair falling through you can see very clearly the hair falling through when you're working on super curly hair like this it blocks together so we'll be polishing it a little bit more with the trimmer later I just wanted to get in there with a the scissor in here keep the ear down notice how I keep the, the steady part of the scissor around here Olivia Let's blend this out a little bit so you'll see right here what we want to work on is we want to work on here so I don't know if you can get into see the angle on that Rebecca or not I, it's hard for me to judge So we're in our Brooklyn location. We're looking to hire people for our Brooklyn location. If you're looking for a new opportunity, you wanna join the Erosio uh, family. We're definitely looking for stylists for our uh, Williamsburg team. Putting a lot of emphasis on our Williamsburg team. You should come behind my shoulder. Yeah, if you're behind my shoulder, you should be able to see. So if you are interested, you can always email me, nick at erosionyc.com. And we can have a chat and take it from there. I have 32 chairs in this salon. So we've got plenty of room for growth. We've been in business. We'll be celebrating our fourth year this April. We'd like to expand the team. The network around here has started to evolve. There's a lot of salons. And a, a lot of new buildings, sorry, not salons. A lot of new buildings in and around uh, this neighborhood and there's a lot more people coming in from they're using the ferry which is across the street to get to and fro from Manhattan now Olivia where do you work I work in Tribeca Tribeca yeah and what's going on in Tribeca right now we're renovating and we're adding a couple of new stations and a cafe and um, new pools. Wow. so we've got an expansion going on in, in uh, in our Tribeca location. What's happening in our Tribeca location is we're making it a digital studio. So we're not just making the salon bigger, but we're actually creating a whole new studio for our creative work. So that's exciting and it's gonna be complete by mid, it's gonna be complete by mid-March. So definitively, Keep an eye on what we're doing. We'll be sending and showing you pictures and then we're gonna create a digital studio. Then you're gonna be able to get podcasts, uh, a lot more live education, intera interactive shows with audiences. So that's our next step of our evolution. And our product company's growing. We just signed a brand new distributor for Florida. So if you're interested in the Rojo product, you can definitely check out our new distributor. And, uh, you know, I'll be spending a lot of time in Florida as we continue to build. So now we've got distribution through the entire Florida region. And we also have our distributors, Cool Beauty, Sullivan Beauty, Beauty Craft. A lot of good stuff happening. And of course, here in New York, Blue Sky Beauty. I will be out on Long Island for my distributor, Blue Sky Beauty. I will be there on February the 17th. $25 gets you a, a ticket for a two hour event. We're gonna be sharing our culture, our inspiration, and we're also gonna be sharing American Wave. So definitely check it out. I'm gonna to go to the wide teeth of the comb now, and I'm gonna to start to uh, just do a little bit of blending with the softening shears. Let's bring over Maria. Come on over here, Maria. Come and stand next to Olivia. So we can see the colorful explosion that exists on your head. Wow. And we are, do you want to bring your picture over of what you like the most? Come and show us some pics. Haley says she hopes to be there for the opening of the photo studio. Awesome. So I like to do the texturizing shear just to blend 
just a little right at the end and you can see if you look into the mirror look into the mirror you're looking for your blend right the way through i don't know if you get a good shot of that it's nice in the light we can see so we blended out the line through the back so you'll see we blended that line out through the back and uh we're still going to keep the edge through the top through the edge through the sides which is fantastic she's got curly hair but she hates it show us maria so we're going to go into mullet heaven with Maria in a second. Show me your second favorite picture. Because I know she's got a collection of skillets. There you go, look at that little freakazoid. What's her name? Um, her name is Stop It Bunny. Oh, Stop It Bunny. <laughs> oh, Stop It Bunny. <laughs> okay, Let, we're gonna get her washed. I think what we should do is we should use a little of our Renew Co Wash. Just leave it in for five minutes and then rinse. It's color safe, no suds. It's gonna be fantastic. Michelle says mullet heaven. Mullet heaven. This is curly heaven. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Do it here. When you don't have help, you have a clip. And let's just damp the hair down with my favorite hydro mist. Lorna says, I wish I was in New York. I would love to come work with Nick. Yep. Why are you playing away? So now we just clip that clean. Let's just have a look in here. Behind the back of the ear. Just a little scissor over comb action. Precision base cutting. Don't forget in March, we got the IBS show. We're bringing in our big trade booth and we're bringing in hairdressers from all over the country to work alongside our team so we're excited about that i'm super excited about that it's hard for you to see them sure so i want to make sure that you can get in because you don't want to build the shape up through the sides so i'm just cleaning up and i don't want to add any more to it just cleaning up Everything precise. Michelle says, I want to work for you. What's the email? <clears throat> Nick at Rojo NYC. Nick at Rojo NYC dot com. Oh, that looks good. Look in the mirror. Spin around. Not you. <laughs> Not you. Yeah. You see, so you're looking for the transition. You're looking for the transition, and what I really think is looking good is this transition in here. Feels pretty good. I think a little bit of these fine texturizing shears will just also help to eliminate, to get a little bit of blending. Notice how I'm not in the fine teeth of the comb, I'm in the wider teeth of the comb. Now we haven't cut the shape in yet, we just worked, worked on the back and the sides. So we're going to attack. The next step is going to be attack that. Brian says, <clears throat> excuse me. Brian says, good morning. And how's everyone today here with the crew loving the education? Good morning, Brian. What's his last name? Waldron. I knew it was Brian Waldron. Hey, Brian. How are you, buddy? What did I hear? I hear you doing some classes. For Sullivan. That's what I heard, and I hope that's the case. Because I think that's brilliant. They want to use you, utilize you. So we are going to be starting to focus on some training for the Erosio Ambassador Artistic Team. And Brian's a great member of that. Got a great salon up in New Hampshire. So definitely check out Mr. Brian Waldron. He says, good mate. Good mate. Michelle says hello from Paris. We'll be back in New York in nine hours. Oh, I'll have a safe flight and have a glass of wine on the plane. Good mate. All right, I'm gonna stop this in a second.
kind of through with that, I think, for the time being. Sometimes I say it's always good to rest your eyes, too. When I say rest your eyes, what I mean is it's good to, like, go into another thing. Because you do get, like, hairdressing blind. Sometimes it's hard to see. So when you leave it and you come back with a fresh pair of eyes, you see a little bit better. All right, let's spin around. Let's have a look. Now let's go and start doing some of the line work because all I've been doing is working on the exterior. Use my hydro mist. And now we're gonna pretend the hair's super straight, even though it's not. So you'll see how much curl she has. Let's calm this down. Let's start to look and see. Never scared. Don't be scared of hair. Yeah, don't be scared of hair. So you're gonna have to really push through this to get it perfect. Hydro Mist is a great product because it dampens the hair down, it dries quickly, it adds a little silk. So now what we're going to do, make sure it doesn't burn your eyes, always keep you quiet, comfortable. Show me a picture again, give me one more shot, let's have a look. Great, let's do it. Not you. You, can, you. you sit down and relax in your robe. <laughs> in your smoking jacket. Okay, so let's have a look at the length here. And we're going to get it about a half an inch to an inch shot. Section it from the center. And now let's come through. Fine teeth. Come it nice and straight, so you're going to imagine that this hair is bone straight. You can see how dense that curl pattern is. Yeah? Super dense curl pattern. Pauline says good morning. Good morning, Pauline. I'm right there. We're just going to collapse that in. Hold it super tight. Get your line in. Next section, I'm going to comb it all the way down. Right there. On the line, baby. Follow it through into the sides. Look at notice how my fingers are top to bottom. I'll show you right now. The fingers come down. My fingers are top to bottom, not side to side. Top to bottom gives me even stronger tension as I put that line in. Very, very precise. Nice and tight. Follow that line right the way through. We did the hard work in the back. This is the fun stuff to really establish the shape that she's looking for. Follow that section all the way in. And you'll work into what you've already pre-cut. Can you see the scissor? Yeah. There's your line. Keep going. Just come it all the way through. Now, product-wise, it's gonna be very important because you wanna collapse the hair. Thankfully, I've got an amazing product uh, in my collection. It's called Defrizz Serum. Designed for anybody from Puerto Rico <laughs> that doesn't like to wear their hair curly. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Where are you, uh, what do you use in your hair, young lady? Any products? Nothing specific. Some oil, coconut oil. Everyone loves coconut oil. 
Yeah. Everyone loves coconut oil. Okay, so we got the lining right here. One side. You can see the blend here. This will be worked on later when the hair's dry. Now let's come through this side. I'll spin around. Olivia, you want to come hold? Just keep your sections nice and clean. Okay, I'll do it again. Take a piece from the opposite side also. Look at the wiggle here. She's got a wiggle. So again, my fingers top to bottom. Let's get that shape right the way in. Clear the eyebrow, because when you clear the eyebrow, that creates the space and the magic. Sanjoy wants to know, when are you coming to Detroit? Sanjoy, when are you coming for a barbering class? I know Sanjoy, we talk about it on the phone. Uh, Detroit, I don't have any plans, but I'd like to come to Detroit. I had such a fun time when I went to Detroit the last time. I'm going to be talking to my dear friends at Cool Beauty. I think Stephen Adams may be going up there. Stephen's one of our ambassadors, and he kind of heads up the artistic team. So Stephen's going to be, I believe, going there. But you'll have to wait for me, Sanjoy. And you can take me out for uh, good Indian food. Ted says, would you suggest <clears throat> Lux Oil for the finishing? No, I don't think it's going to be strong enough. Lux Oil is great, but uh, I think for this hair, we need to collapse it. So the greatest collapser in product that I have is a product called Defrizz Serum. So the Defrizz Serum is the best product that I've got for that. And that's what we're going to use, Defrizz Serum. And we're also going to use a product called Set and Style Spray. And Set and Style Spray is another brilliant product. As a nice light blow dry lotion. Come through here. I need to tighten that up. So I'm going to make this a little shorter. And then it's blow dry time for Olivia. And it's going to be a tough job. But this hair is probably going to be okay because she's been burning it straight for a long time. Yeah, and we can iron it too and press it and then I'm going to do some dry cutting to get the finish look. So this really is very precise. If I raise this, which I could, could take out some of the thickness, but it's layered on the top. See these layers are on the top. If it was not layered, I would probably be in there with a razor. I'm going to save the razor maybe for next time. I'm going to get this hair dried and, and deal with it in its dry state. Because I think that that's going to okay. And that's going to be better for us. Right here, I'm just going to chip just a little. I might have taken a little out, but guess what? A little goes a long way. Spin around to the front. Start to have a look at my smooth, flat head of hair. I'm going to come through the back, across the top. I'm going to lift this hair all the way up. I'm going to chip. I'm going to lift this all the way up. And I'm going to lightly chip or point cut into the hair. So I didn't transition this in, so I'm going to kind of keep the connection loose. The reason why the connection is loose is because we're trying to hang on to length, because if it's cut too short, then it'll do nothing but curl. And we over direct the hair back so that I can create. I over direct the hair back. I can create all the length. You okay? Hi, Nick from Stephanie in Charlestown, West Virginia. West Virginia.
Pauline says, does the set and style spray have thermal protectors like the protective thickening lotion? No, but it's nice and flat. It's a nice lightweight. I don't want it to be heavy. It's a nice lightweight spray. The Shine Lux oil does have protection. So if you really want protection. But this hair's tough as all nails. This does not need protection. She's been burning it straight for a while. All right, so we're gonna look at these corners when the hair's dry. We're gonna look at this again when the hair's dry. We're gonna look at the length when the hair's dry. But now it's time for us to introduce a little bit of deep fist serum. You lost the stand. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it went. You lost the stand, it's right there. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> she lost the stand. She lost the stand. It's okay. Sandra says, give me a date for barbering shaving class. I'll be in New York. I know. Well, don't worry about it, Sandra. I'm working on a set and style spray. Wait a minute. I'm going to do my eyebrows. That's what she said. Just don't mess with my eyebrows. Giza. Alright, set the style spray. And now, defrizz serum. Defrizz serum is the great collapser. I'm not going to be scared to use quite a bit. Rub it in my hands, it's a high grade silicone. So now we're going to press this hair nice and flat. We're going to use a flat brush and a flat iron just to really work it through. Elise says, loving the shape. Do you think you can see how it looks curly before you straighten it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know what, listen, I don't think it's gonna look so great curly, yeah? I mean, it could look good if she kind of wore it like this. A little, a little like this, that's the look. But I don't think there's enough for it to be curly. She's not got the length in the right places. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll get it straight. Also, we, you know, we've got a, we've got a whole other fun skillet to cook. So why don't you run away over there, oh, Olivia, okay. <laughs> and let's see you later when she's all flat. Feel good? Yes. Okay, you go with Olivia, and I'll bring over Maria into the hot seat. the size have these like piscinas and oh the yeah you got cute. like more pictures than anyone i know this one's cute the layers on the yeah top. okay i like the shaggy yeah <laughs> we got you elevates my friend stop it bunny St sasha Ivan ivanovsky <laughs> okay This hair down. She's obviously been pretty. What color was it before? Orange and lime green. Orange and lime green. So now we're going to go into a little mother inspiration. She's kind of asymmetric right now, so I need to simplify it. Because it's a little bit of light all over the place. You can see that she's short through here. this hair down. I'm going to take my hydro. Put this hair down in the water. Pauline says party in the front and in the back. Who <laughs> said that? Pauline. Party everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, let's section out some stuff. Get this, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with my black coat. I'm not ruining my white coat. I'm going to do all kinds of colors. So I'm going to simplify. Just take the top. Typically speaking, when you create anything kind of mullet like, it's all to do with the bangs. 
Oh, you got a tattoo under here too, have you? Is it like a bumblebee or a caterpillar? It's a dead head moth. It's a dead head moth. I'm scared. I am scared. It's a dead head moth. It's like, you know. You want to grow this or you want to keep it short? Oh, you don't care. I don't really care. Creative freedom. Creative freedom. So the first thing is, is this is the front and this is what we're going to cut in for the bang. It's a triangular section. See that? And we're going to cut the bangs in so they're raggy and edgy. This will be fun. Okay, I'm going to move to you, okay? Because I know these angles. So you take the first section across here. I'm going to lift her up a little. And I want it to kind of come across and down. So I'm going to start right here. <coughs> Little hydra mist in the hand. Come that hair straight down. Split it right there. And now use the flat of the blade. If you want to learn razor cutting, my next class is in New Faults, which is upstate New York at the L Salon. It's a one day class. If you're interested, it's a one day class and it's on the 24th of February. It's all hands on. $250 and you can sign up for the class on erosiopro.com. It'll be 10 to four and it'll be razor cutting with me. All hands on. So straight away, bang bang, she shot me down. My crazy deadhead moth, what was it? What kind of a moth? Deadhead moth. That's right. <laughs> a deadhead moth. A deadhead moth. Or a crazy moth. Okay, so now section two. Flat of the blade. I taught a class this weekend in New York. We didn't do too much flat work. I know some of the girls are coming back to, uh, to learn some longer shaggy cuts because that's what they love. And we're just going to tip in, just the tip of the blade. Haley says, model has beautiful eyes for bangs. Oh yeah, she does. There's the flat of the blade. And I want to get the bangs just off the eyebrow and don't cut the bangs dry. And if they're a little on the dry side, dampen them down. Let's keep going. So we're taking sections all the way across. Forward, forward. Flat of the blade. collapse those bangs in. When you're working on something like this, the whole concept has to be to simplify it. And it's kind of make it as simple as possible because then it's going to read well. You know, she's got a lot of complexity in the color. Obviously, she's got it short on one side, not so short on the other. So simplification is going to help to make it look strong. Coleman, this is a very deep bang section which will give it that kind of mullet feel. So turn it forward. I'm working flat of the blade. Look how open this is. We call this an open stroke. Keep it nice, clean and precise. Allowing the hair to get not too much longer but a little longer towards the edge of the eyebrow. I stayed in one place and cut. Now I've been come to the, this side. I've got this to cut, but I want to come to this side because on this side she's got, you can see she's got no hair, no short. On this side she's got all this hair. So what I'm gonna do before I do anything is I'm gonna take this piece out. I'm gonna take this piece out. And then I'm gonna actually shorten this piece. 
Because this is so close to the hairline, to the eyebrow. I'm going to create a little bit of space. But nice and tight, right in there. Just melt that away. It's going to be exactly the same. Nice and tight, right in here. Just melt that away. Now come it forward. And just with my fingers, I'm just going to pinch and melt. Todd wants me to sing, sing something, and I'm not gonna, so I gotta, I gotta tell you to sing it. You, you have to sing, my girl wants to mullet it all the time, to party all the time, to the tune of it. <laughs> yeah. We only do that after five. <laughs> Todd, only after five, baby. Too early in the morning. See, now you see that little piece there? That little piece there is kind of a connector to the piece over here. And now what we'll do, We'll comb this hair down and I'll carry it on. And this will sit better because we just open the eyebrow, we open the eye. And when I'm demonstrating like this, we're trying to play to the camera so you guys can get the best possible angle. In real life, your mirror is your key because your mirror will always tell you what's working. You can also get very tactile with the razor. You can pinch little pieces with your fingers and just eliminate. Now, this is the razor comb. The razor comb's different from the scissor comb. Still has the fine teeth, but the razor comb, the scissor, the razor comb has um, has wide teeth for combing, and, and that's very important because I'll show you. Once you've done the cut, you want to comb with the wide teeth to see you get less pressure. When you get less pressure on it, it looks way better because it allows the hair to live. But you need the fine teeth to melt the hair away. You need the fine teeth to melt the hair away. A few more sections. So we work from one side, now we're working from the opposite side. Get that razor moving up and down quite assertively. Go. Final section. I'm going to really melt that section away. When I say melt that section away, that means you know really try and go a little bit more extreme with the razor in. Now let's have a look in the mirror. All right, now it's time for me to look at this. So if you're looking at this side, obviously she's got no hair on the other side, she's got the short green bit. What I wanna do right now is I wanna keep a little bit of a dollop. So she's got like a, a piece, a channel in here. So we're gonna take another channel out. I'm gonna just come and I'll show you how we do this. This is fun. She'll like this, and if she doesn't, she can. So we're going to section this hair, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a we're going to take a little angle from when we used to do a thing called the new shag. And the new shag, we're going to put a sharp panel, which is actually good because it's going to connect to this sharp panel. So we're going to keep this. We're going to take a sharp panel here, and we're going to keep this. So this is the fun stuff. Todd says, love it, model's stunning. Good. Elizabeth also loves it. It's about one inch thick. I'm gonna do it in two panels. So just work cleanly. You will take that piece there, and I'll just rest it. And then we'll take this piece here, and let's watch what we do. Don't get scared. I'm going to go right in with the flat of the blade. I'm going to melt out a channel of the haircut. 
right there. So what you've got in your, in your fingers is what you've left on the head. So we've got a short channel right in there. And now let's take this piece and pull that out of the way. This is below the round. The round is right here. And here we go. And second piece in. I'll move around. I'm going to turn that forward. I'm going to take this piece in. There you go. So she has this short panel right in here, but she's still got all the lens in here. And she's still got all the lens over the top. You see she still has all that length over the top. So that created some space. Now it's time for me to work. I'm going to work from the back. I'm going to turn this hair forward. I'm going to keep all this hair out the back. Not much coming out there. I'm going to work from the back and we're going to kind of piece it out a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Section one. You want to keep the length, you're going to piece that a little bit. So this is flat plane work, melting that hair away. Section two. We're going to come all the way over. And come all the way over what we've cut. There's a sharp piece in here. Flat of the blade. If you tuned in last week, last week we did a classic long razor layer. We also did a classic razor bob. That was our last week's lesson. Excuse me, I'm just going to grab that. This week's lesson is a little bit edgier in a different way. Always do your cuts for your clients. Your cuts are always designed for your clients. A good hairdresser is a hairdresser that can put his or her hand to what uh, any kind of plant wants. You have to be able to do short, you have to be able to do long, you have to be able to you know, have different styles that you can accommodate anyone's request. The reason I approach this from the back is I keep that, that piece. And if I keep that piece, it looks better. Come through here, over direct this back. Todd says, Nick, creative juices are flowing. Oh, good. Take the tissue. <laughs> oh, Nick, you're crazy. Well, don't forget, if you're going to be in Chicago next week, we're going to be in Chicago, Monday night, complimentary education, courtesy of Orojo. We're always coming in to share our techniques, share our inspiration, and, uh, you know, kind of be connected to the community. So we're really looking forward to seeing you all next week in Chicago. If you're interested, you can RSVP. Interested for the event, RSVP Valeria at ErosioNYC.com. All right, now we'll take sections across. I'm not gonna cut the green stuff short. I like the roughness of it. I'm just gonna simplify right here, a little shorter here. So she's got that long piece. I'm gonna comb this hair over. And I'm just gonna tip in. Just a little tipping. Next section, all the way across. And we're gonna tip in here. And I'm gonna comb this all the way across and I'm gonna tip in here. And don't forget, we have a hair painting class in our New York Academy, taught by two incredible hair colorists. We have Lucy and Amber, both seasoned, serious, creative hair colorists. If you want to learn hair painting, sign up on Arojo Pro. 
I believe it's the 17th and 18th, or the 18th and 19th, something like that. It's a, uh, yeah, 11th is a Monday, so it's the 17th and 18th. And then don't forget, I'll be in New Paltz, New York. I'll be teaching my, I'll be teaching my one day razor class. So we call this technique tipping. You can learn this technique on my one day razor class in New Paltz. So just the tip of the blade, melting that hair away. Learn to look through the hair. We're gonna grow the length of the hair. So we're not cutting the hair shorter. We're gonna grow the length of the hair. My sections are coming all the way across the back and I'm working through everything. So Come this hair back, I'm looking through it. I'm looking to change the density and create the softness. On the 17th, I will be in Florida at the fuel event in West Palm Beach. Check it out, you can go to Eventbrite and sign up. $20 for a ticket and you get your first, you get a free drink, so it's really a great bargain. Was you going to ask me a question? I, I, was, oh, I was just going to tell you a couple things. Uh, okay, Randy, Randy says fun and edgy. Randy? Is that Randy from Seattle? Randy Meadows. Nice Randy. And Kendall says beautiful cut, Nick. It's always about amazing technique. Thank you. I'm doing between 30 and 50 clients a week in the salon. Always trying to leave from the front. I'm teaching, teaching in the school. You know, we're going through a renovation. We're obviously building our brand with our product line, American Wave, as well as a Rojo product. We've got a lot of exciting stuff going on. I wake up every day and I, uh, I have purpose. I have a lot to do, and I'm ready to do it. I'm going to spin around this way so you can see. Just going to finish up and then we're going to be drying. I told you this is going to be quick. We're going to dry. And we're going to dry kind of smooth and messy. And then we can cut dry if need be. A little tip and chill. So you see what happens is she gets like a little drop out in here. Got a little drop out in here because you have that short panel right through here and then also just got a drop out right here so you see how that drops out and then this short stuff i'm going to keep she has a little tattoo under there but I'm, i kind of like the the roughness of that now let me go and choose the products and you're going to see this this is Marina says hello from New Jersey. New Jersey? In the house. I love New Jersey. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our Shine Lux oil. There you go. Just work our Shine Lux oil into my hand. I'm going to work it through. Shine Lux oil is going to have that sheen, softness. I knew she was going to be a long time. I knew she was going to be a long time. Grab my... I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Keep my nose along. 
Flat brush is a great brush for getting the hair nice and flat and smooth. And you don't want to make it round, you want to make it flat and smooth. Flat brush is a brilliant brush for that. Up. In. Same thing. Follow the brush with the nozzle, the concentrator, or as I like to call it, the schnozzle nozzle so that really concentrates the air and uh, enhances the shine. Twin turbo blow dryer, Erosio style. It's the only white one that they do. That's our white twin turbo dryer. I come through the back. My last haircut was a tight haircut. This is more of a looser haircut. Different approach. Every time you're cutting hair, you've got to kind of have a mentality. Like an artist, you've got to think about what's your passion, what's your vision, what you feel. But you also have to not just have artistic ability, you have to have technical ability. Because the technical ability helps you with your artistic. It's the perfect complementer. Smooth that out just a little. Follow the brush. Now we're excited for March because March we've got a lot of stuff going on. At the IBS show. We have a classic cutting class. If you want to learn the classics, classic cutting class. We have American Way certification in Atlanta. I think we're going to have a Happy Mondays in Atlanta. We have a razor class in LA. No American Way certification in LA. But of course, at the IBS show, and we finish March, we finish March in the Chicago show. So, uh, Back in Shantown, the end of March. Showing what we do. My brush is very light, but I'm pushing it through the hair. Don't forget to use your hands.
some any questions today. I think so. Nobody said we're blurry today, Nobody which said. is good. Todd says, I think everyone is just mesmerized. <laughs> Rose also says mesmerized, that's why. It's a great way to stay uh, connected to everything that we do here at Erosia. How are we doing, Olivia? Good. So I've got a tweaker. A little bit more tweaking, and we'll be finished in 10. Did it go okay? So just a little bit of detail work. Sometimes when you do it with your scissor, it's great after the razor because the razor is so fluid. The scissor just gives it a little bit more of a cleaner edge. And then I'm going to use one more product in her hair, which will be my dry conditioner. My dry conditioner is a hydrolyzed keratin, so it's a hair strengthener, which is great for the fashion tones. Healing oil is also a brilliant for fashion tones. It's a glosser. It's a great product. This I like to call this sealing the ends. So I'm really just basically just cleaning up the ends of the hair. I don't want to cut any of the action off, so just clean it up. Take this off. Stay there. Don't run away. Don't run away. I'll be make sure you style correctly. Just hold that for me, sweetheart. Huh? Shows the wardrobe nice there, I think, to match the hair. Kendall says she loves how the channel skinnies the side silhouette and draws focus to her eyes and cheekbones.
So now we'll just use a little bit of this. This is our uh, this is our dry conditioner. So this is make the hair shiny. This makes the hair look silky. It's a lightweight spray. Doesn't put oil on the hair. It's hydrolyzed keratin, so it's putting a little bit of structure back in. Think of it as like a softener. Adds, I like to say it adds a bit of silk to the hair, not shine. It's called dry conditioner. It's called refresh dry conditioner. It's not a high shine product. Well, let's spray the hair. This doesn't give shine. What it does, it gives silk. It gives a little bit more of like a silky definition into the hair so the hair feels like it's been lived in as opposed to just too fresh. It's also a great refresher for day two. It's a great refresher for day two. Because day two is, uh, it smells really clean. It's got a very light cleanse, cleansing fragrance. It's not gonna add oil to the hair. So it just helps to calm down the fuzzy wuzzies. And the hair feels a little bit fuzzier. And I'll just give it one last blast and then we'll get you over here, Olivia. I told you we'd be quick. Yeah. Yeah. Told you. Tell me about it. Okay. She's done. You can wait for us. We've got to wait for a finishing shot by the red wall. So you just hang out. I'll just show you around. Remember this is our short panel in here. So she's got that short ridge runs right below the ridge. This then can fall over. So she's got that kind of separation. And away we go. I think she looks good. Alright, you're going to jump into the chair. Let's bring her over here. Come on, come on Kelly. Super curly hair, like super curly hair. You gotta go fast with this stuff. We don't have all of my tools here at the, uh, at the Williamsburg location. I've never used these irons before. I have a really good iron, a micro iron. No one has, apart from me, but you need a smaller iron for this, for sure. So you need a smaller iron, you gotta kinda not be scared. Yeah, you can't be too gentle. You've got to really work it, work it, flip it and reverse it. Now we need to check now. Then we've got to put some more. You doing okay, Eloise? Good, you feel better now that your hair is flat and not curly. Like a big curl bubble. Press in the hair, rotate it, and bend it in. Yeah, you gotta get a little bit of bend on the hair. Don't just do it straight, because if you just do it straight, it gets pokey. You gotta get 
right at the root, the skinny of the section, bend that, and the heat is gonna take it down. Yeah, the heat takes it down. So what we're gonna do here in Williamsburg is we're actually gonna be doing a presentation for one of our new uh, hairdressers and we're gonna do it on Facebook Live. So stay tuned. That's why you need to download the app, Erosio Social. When you download the app Erosio Social, you'll be well connected into everything that we're doing. Right in here. Super curly hair. But a little bit of that heating oil is going to help put some of the jamba juice back in. so that you can press it and get the hair to sit flatter. So it doesn't look like it's curly. It's gotta look like it's naturally straight. And you can see that's starting to get better as we kind of bevel it in. And I'm going as fast as we can. You know, everybody can blow dry hair, everybody can iron hair, everybody can do everything. Yeah, but can you do it super well? That's the key. And the more experience you have, the better you get. Yeah, one of the best hair stylists I know is a gentleman by the name of Paul Merritt. Now Paul's gonna be with me in Chicago. So if you wanna see Paulie, come, and, come down to the Greenhouse Theater and see Paul. He comes from England. You can check out his website, paulmerritt.com. Fashion stylist, get connected to him. It's a big part of what we're doing as a brand. So as we come in the back here, in here this little bit. A lot of work, right in. Especially when you're working in a small area. Small, tight area like this. Keep the iron moving. Because when you keep the iron moving, you get the right balance and the right blend. We were going to use you on Monday, wasn't we, for Happy Mondays? Is that right? At one point? You just smiled at me. She didn't know what I said. <laughs> she, just, she just smiled at me. She had no idea. I what hoped it wasn't was a question. <laughs> yeah? Whatever you say. Get right into the room and just bevel that out. Right into the room. The heat that does it. The heat smooths it out. So yeah, so stay tuned because we're gonna do a uh, presentation, a test out. One of the stylists here is trying to, to test out. So stay tuned for that. We'll let you know when that's gonna happen. All the ends in. Nice little bow maroonie. Yeah. And then we're going to do some scissor cutting, some point cutting. We're going to collapse it even more. If you're just tuning in, this hair is uh, about as curly as it gets. Yeah? If you look under your armpit, you'll see how curly her hair is. Very curly. But she's. Uh, she doesn't want it. <laughs> she refuses to have curl. She wants it straight. Yeah, didn't have that straight now. The best thing she can do is get the top longer, more one length, and have it razor cut. Take out half the hair. That's the best thing she can do. So we can make her hair even better. Yeah? She could also have a smoothing treatment in her hair. That will also make her hair better if she has a smoothing treatment in her hair. That's what she needs. A little smoothing treatment will really help to take out some of the thickness. But I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, there's some work that needs to be done through the layer in. I'm gonna do that in a second. I'm gonna be cutting a little bit more and we're gonna refine it and make it 
phenomenon. Phenomenon. If you are doing this, the best thing to do if you really want to press somebody's hair flat, put a put a put a, a cap on straight away, straight after, and that flattens this hair out. A hairnet. If you're doing a show, you want to make sure that the hair's super flat. A hairnet will press this hair out completely. Once you and you have got to do all this work, but then you've got to compress it for uh, a few minutes. Jessica says, I love both of these gutsy, edgy rock chick haircuts. Thank you. And Debbie wants to know, what smoothing treatment do you use at the salon? We've been using, uh, I believe, Kerasilk. That's the smoothing treatment we've been using. Dennis says, so you're using the cold air to shrink the density of the hair? Yeah, once you, once you, well, what you want to do is, the hair's only set when it's cold. So with the hair being so curly, the hair's not set until it's cold, so if it's still warm, that curl's going to come back. So when you blast it cold, it takes away the ability for the hair to curl. That's why we do it. So now, let's be fine. Give me my white comb, please. So the importance for the white comb is right in here. You can see what you got. You can see what you got. What do you think, Maria? You happy? You still happy? Do we have a, uh, do we have a bullet, or uh, a little, uh, a, bullet, a uh, trimmer? Sure. Yeah. I think I saw one. Elizabeth says, I always learn so much from you. Thank you. A peanut, that's good. Bullet, peanut. Thank you. Elizabeth, is that? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Elizabeth. We sure try. We sure try to share. Yeah, the whole concept that I have is learn with me on uh, online and then come to class and learn with me in class. That's my, uh, my vision. Fine teeth with a cranky head steady. Eloise, is that right? Eloisa, sorry. done with this and then we're going to start to cut those some of the top nothing coming out there small scissor that's why you need a small scissor guys you need a small scissor big scissor you need to be precise did you plug in the uh the bullet the peanut the 
whatever it's called. Elizabeth says she took your class at ISSC and loved it. Purchased oh, a two-day to do in California. Thank you. Send some. I won't create a line, but I want to tighten just a little bit. Nice thing about the peanut is it's tiny, like a peanut. So in here, where the hairline is, you just tighten the skin up. You can just clean off. When you are working on a client that has uh, olive skin, be very careful. Because there is, you know, we have hair all over our bodies, but it's very faint. And when a client has uh, got dark hair and she's going to show short, sometimes you'll make the skin look lighter. So just be very cautious because you don't want to be down with hair shaved in the face. Yeah, it's not going to look pretty. There you go. A little bit here and then I'm going to do some internal work. So my scissors flat on my comb. Remember, if you tuned in at the beginning, you saw me use the clipper, and now I'm just blending that out, just to drop more. And you saw me kind of blend out the back, which we knew was gonna be a little challenging because she had a undercut. That's probably a little high for me, but I think we managed to save it, make it look good. You feel good? So this is just going to take out a little bit of the density. It's a nice thing to do to go through your cut and it's just going to take out a little bit of density. These are fine teeth uh, texturizing shears. So they'll take out a little bit more density and collapse the hair. So you keep the length, just comb through. Come in. It's always hard to cut off a little. It's easier to cut off a lot. Yeah, that's really the key. Hard to cut off a little, easier to cut off a lot. Let's soften that out. Soften that out. You're still gonna get that line. You still got that clarity of line. But we're just coming through, we're just gonna soften out. Elevating the hair up. If I overshatter it right now, it's not going to work. The simple reason is, is that she's got too many layers. I would like her to have less layers, spin that way. I would like her to have less layers. I would like her to get more one length. Right in here. I'm doing two cuts. And I'm about one inch away. And what that does is, it takes out a little of the fat in the hair. Alright, so it doesn't take away the length, just takes a little of the fat away. But she doesn't have any fat on her, she's skinny. And did you say you're a banker? Yeah, I work in a bank. She works in a bank. The Bowl Bank. <laughs> Bowl Bank of Brooklyn. Okay, so let's go this side. Stay there, Olivia. Stay there. I'll spin around to you, Rachel. You're back there. I get that a lot. You do? Yeah. From me. From everyone. <laughs> From everyone. Every boss I've ever had. <laughs> they call you Rachel? Yeah. Okay, Rachel. I'll call you Rebecca. It'd be so much easier if my name was Rachel. Then they call me Rebecca. You can change it. Do you know my real name's not Nick? I did. Yeah. I learned that the second day I was here. Yeah. yeah. Told you. And then I learned about the, um, the, the, like, not the science behind it, but, like, why stylists have different names. I don't look like a Hubert, though, do I? Well, no. <laughs> right. Hubert. Hubert's a rojo. Otherwise known as Hubert. Yeah. A rojo Hubert. Kala says, I like that a little of the fat. I when like you said that. Yep. That's 
right here. Yeah. So I want to blend that just a little too. So again, we use all the tools available at our disposal to get every kind of look that we want. One of the things when I was a young hairdresser growing up at Vidal Sassoon, we were not allowed to do any of this, which I think was great for discipline, because you had to figure out the hard way without any tics, uh, trips, tricks or tips, yep, tips and tricks. Whereas today, modern hairdressing, having had that, I now have the ability to be able to understand more about the hair so I can get a better shape. Using a white teeth for comb. Dennis asks, would you ever cut a five point live? Dennis says, see you in Chicago, old school Sassoon. Love, Nick. Oh, awesome. I'll be there. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to, you know, don't mess with the old school. Mess with the old.
some more healing oil. That's what I'm going to need. I'm going to use some uh, print. The nice thing about print is uh, it's going to work against the humidity. It's going to block the hair from curling. Wow, your hair was so curly before, wasn't it? two cuts for you today. A little bit different from last week's episode, this week's episode. I, this will be, we tried to blend this out as much as possible, which I think we did a pretty good job. <coughs> Texture scissors. Let's come through this one more time. Plus the back. One more time. We're singing. Tell Todd. <laughs> singing, let's come through one more time through the back here. Yeah, we're going to be better getting this cut again in six weeks, young lady. Okay? So you want me to do it again for you? Come and see me in six weeks. So we're going to make it even better. Can you handle that? She's tough, isn't she? Puerto Rican's tough. What's your heritage? Me, I'm Dominican Peruvian. Dominican Peruvian, the Dom. Let's remove the Dom. We've got to get the back to grow just a little. It's going to be better. She had an undercut up to this line here, so we blended that undercut out as much as possible. And the hair doesn't fall flat, the hair grows out because it's uh, super curly. Ken, I'm so happy we did it. Kendall wants to know, do you still DJ? <laughs> uh, in my brain. There's music in my brain. But no, I don't DJ anymore, I'm too busy. Too busy. I'm trying to build a business in New York, which is a lot of work. But maybe one day I'll get back to it when I'm in my wheelchair. I can be called DJ Wheelchair. When they can wheel me in.
Also, following week, we're going to have a color class here, a hair painting class in my New York Academy. And uh, we'll also be attending the... What's it called? In, it's called... Not Elevate. Fuel. Tracy is doing her show, it's called Fuel, that's in West Palm Beach. I'll be on Long Island, teaching the two hour demonstration. If you're interested in attending, finding out about Rojo products, Rojo culture, come and see us, literally in Long Island. It's on the 17th. Kendall asks if you remember hanging out at the Javienda in Manchester. At what? The Javienda. Hacienda. Hacienda. I remember it. Is that what she said? Yeah. I did it for years. So you don't remember it? Of course I remember it. <laughs> My brother had a salon in the Hacienda. And I had a salon in the nightclub. It was the first salon in the nightclub. I used to DJ in the Hacienda with a guy called Ron Garnier, a French hairdresser. I mean, a French DJ. We also used to DJ with a guy called Sasha. Much nice. People like uh, Sasha, I like DJ with Paul Openfold, like DJ with Frankie Bones, Tony Rusto, lots of DJs I can DJ with for good old days. Yeah. Dennis says he loves it, you still persist to get it beautiful. Yeah, man, you gotta kind of stop, man. Look at this. Will says this takes me back to the 80s when I was teaching with Vidal at his salon. Good days, great execution. How tall are you when you take your shoes off? There you go. So do we get a good shot? Let's get nice and close. Get right in. We have our little bowler cut. Give us a twirl this way. The other way. There you go. Then we have our little shaggy raggy uh, skillet muller. Looks good. I like the shot piece inside. Yeah, it's that little bit there. I like that we do that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a She tucks that behind and then she drops this down. She's got that piece that she that she likes. And if she comes this way, she's got the short stuff under here. She's got that long piece here. So two different looks, two different applications. Worked hard today. I'll see you next week. Otherwise, I'll see you this weekend in Chicago. Thanks a lot.